As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, And now, we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order.
Division Zero. for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions. 
Right. right. Face. Face. Section leaders fall out and, and collect, collect outer garments. Divisions. Counter. March. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand, and we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. 
Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command. Division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Daniel Alcorn, crew training commander's drill division officer. I'd like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today you will see 12 divisions comprised of 991 sailors participating in the graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit positioned at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Trenton McWhirter from Mount Gilead, North Carolina. Let's give my hand, folks. Performing today is the triple threat unit on their sixth week of training, state flag unit on their seventh week of training, and the staff unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises additional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commander. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduate divisions, the division commanders, and recruit chief petty officer. As they introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flag that they have earned throughout their training. As they introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I'll be starting from their right. Division 0 5 1. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Brooke Deer. Petty Officer First Class Joshua Henderson. Petty Officer Second Class Angel Rojas. And their recruit chief Petty Officer Seaman Apprentice Roderick Wooler from Hutto, Texas. Division 0 5 Two. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Brandon Potts. Petty Officer First Class Melissa Schulber. Petty Officer Second Class Dan Benavides. And their crew Chief Petty Officer Seaman Crew Nathan Williams from San Antonio, Texas. Division 053. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Argelis Gonzalez. Petty Officer First Class, Mark Lewis. Petty Officer Second Class, Jonathan Roop. And their crew chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice, Michaela Lopez, from Lafayette, Louisiana. Division 054. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Jeanette Rodriguez. Petty Officer Second Class, Anthony Mullen. Petty Officer Second Class, Emmerich Kitong. And their crew chief Petty Officer Fireman, Michael Cressman, from Olive Branch, Mississippi. 
Division Zero Five Five. Commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer Eric Spisak. Petty Officer First Class Darius Jarman. Petty Officer First Class Jocelyn Quijada. And their Crew Chief Petty Officer Stephen Crew Michael Carmody from Altoona, Pennsylvania. Division Zero Five Six. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Rodriguez Mitchell. Petty Officer First Class Keith Richmond. Petty Officer First Class Vincent Hanby. And their Chief Petty Officer Senior Crew Alexander Zelch from Akron, Ohio. Division Zero Five Seven. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Ramon Siquiera. Petty Officer First Class Corey Alexander. Petty Officer Second Class Timothy Adams. And their Chief Petty Officer Fireman Todd Black from Temple, Texas. Division Zero Five Nine. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Wiki DeMond. Petty Officer First Class Jessica Majoy. Petty Officer First Class Deja Jenkins. And their Crew Chief Petty Officer Seaman Kavina Joyce from Alamo Gordo, New Mexico. Division 060. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer John Reeder. Petty Officer First Class Shayna Decker. Petty Officer First Class John Liu. And their Crew Chief Petty Officer Steven Apprentice Andon Hood from Houston, Texas. Division 061. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class Jocelyn Downey. Petty Officer First Class Paul Periano. Petty Officer Second Class Aldrin Zaremba. And their Crew Chief Petty Officer Seaman Dylan Barden from Norfolk, Virginia. Division 062. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Jamie Maley. Petty Officer First Class, David Garcia. Petty Officer First Class, Randy Parson. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Senior Apprentice, Terrence Gaucher from Miami, Florida. Division 9-1-1. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Jonathan Golden. Petty Officer First Class Daniel Weber. Petty Officer Second Class Lindsey Lyle. And their Chief Petty Officer Seaman Trenton McGuirk from Mount Gilead, North Carolina. On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of recruit training command, we congratulate these division commanders and the crew chief petty officers on a job. Well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial sideboards, boats, and honor guard take their places for rival honors. This time honor tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's viewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for rival honor, marching on other colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show the sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Recruit Training Command arriving. Service Training Command, arriving. Judge Advocate, General of the Navy, arriving. The guests may be seated. Good morning, Admiral! Honor Guard, standing by for inspection, sir!
you for your inspection, Commandant, sir. Please rise. Preset arms. Order arms. Chaplain Barry will offer this morning's invocation.
Let us pray. O oh Lord, we thank you for the blessings of this day, for these sailors, for their accomplishments in training, and their future contribution to the greatest Navy in the world. Guide all of us, Lord, and sustain us in all our ways, this day and always. May we all live so faithfully that no failure can dishearten us, no frustration can discourage us, and no fear can take away from us the joy of our integrity, discipline, and teamwork, who we are and what we stand for. I thank you, O Lord, for transforming these men and women into proud members of the United States Navy. They are grateful for seeing a new way to live life that values honor, courage, and commitment. May they always appreciate learning how important it is to take accountability in all situations and trustingly exercise toughness and fidelity in life. I pray that your blessing always be upon them, their families, all sailors, staff, and our great nation, the United States of America. Walk with them, O oh Lord, each and every day, and bless them as they take their steps in service, helping us all to work for your greater glory, now and forever. Amen. Our guests may be seated. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command.
Good morning, Captain. I present the graduating divisions. Request permission to commence the review. Commence the review. Good morning. Aye, aye, sir.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Captain Ken Frober, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. Welcome to your Navy Quarter Deck. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Vice Admiral Del Crandall, Judge Advocate General of the United States Navy, as well as my boss, Rabbi Craig Knight, Commander of Naval Services Training Command. I would first like to start by welcoming our veterans here today. Thank you for your service to our country. Would all our veterans please rise so we can give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. I would be remiss if I did not welcome the family and friends attending today's recruit graduation and those watching live from around the world. Thank you for making the journey here to fill this hall and see this special event. It truly is an honor to stand on this deck and see these sailors standing before you here now. We have Division 911 joining the crew. That's our staff division that will be graduating today, as well as 11 other graduating divisions. Please join me in giving them an outstanding They're here for you. I haven't even got them riled up yet, gang. Give me a second, we'll get to it. Simmer down now, otherwise CMC is going to have to come talk to you. Alright, the Staff of Recruit Training Command is absolutely committed to providing the United States Navy with the finest, basically trained, physically fit, smartly disciplined sailors, such as these sailors standing before you right now. They have completed 10 rigorous weeks, and for the future sailor grads out there, a couple more, but they have earned the right to wear the uniform recognizes the symbol of freedom around the world. Booyah! So while we're honoring that, that journey that they have started, I also want to take a moment to introduce you, the family and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly, and navigate your new journey together, I invite you to learn about our Navy family, your Navy family, here in Great Lakes and around the world. If you're looking for a start, search Navy Boot Camp, Navy Family to learn more about your Navy family from our website online. Today's graduates serve as the bedrock of our naval forces that will join other American sailors around the world to defend freedom and liberty against those who threaten it. I can say with pride this training group is ready to graduate today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 991 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Recruit Training Command's competitive system among individual recruits and divisions promotes teamwork, attention to detail, and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas. Academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. 
A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle flag in recognition of their performance. Seven divisions have earned this honor today and we congratulate them on a job. Any division that excels in every phase of training and earns all flags qualifies for the Chief of Naval Operations Honor Division recognition and is awarded the CNO Honor Flag for this exemplary achievement. This designation reflects a high degree of teamwork, morale, and a spirit of corps, as well as the superb leadership of the division commanders. Five divisions have earned this honor today, and we congratulate them. Vice Admiral Crandall will now present this week's individual awards, and he'll be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Probert, and Commander, Naval Service Training Command, Rear Admiral Craig Madden. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, construction man apprentice Show Adams, Division 055 from Hampton, Virginia, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Construction man apprentice Adams receives a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. for having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty. Airman Elizabeth Cobar, Division 911, from Garland, Texas, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Airman Cobar is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Airman Jonathan Purdom, Division 911, from Owasa, Oklahoma, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipping. Airman Purdom is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. Seaman Tanner Belinsky, Division 053, from Morgan, Utah, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Belinsky is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor! Captain, Seaman Dauber reporting. 
The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Faith Dauber, Division 911, from Tonica, Illinois, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Seaman Dauber is awarded a letter of accommodation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. It is our pleasure to recognize the review commander for today's ceremony, Seaman Trayman McGuire, Division 911 from Mount Gilead, North Carolina. Throughout his training, Seaman McGuire has exhibited great pride in naval service and has consistently demonstrated his potential as an effective leader. He has maintained a high standard of personal appearance and displayed excellent military bearing and command voice. He is also the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter of combination. Seaman McWhorter, the staff of Recruit and Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor! It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. I'm honored to participate in this graduation ceremony. 
It's a privilege to be here and celebrate the tremendous accomplishments of these young women and men. Today, these new sailors begin a journey during which each of them will make their own special mark on the proud history of our Navy. For over a century, Naval Station Great Lakes has transformed more than three million civilians into war fighters, including my father-in-law, who graduated from a boot camp right here over 80 years ago on December 27, 1943. Many noteworthy Americans, battle-tested heroes, were trained right here at Great Lakes. One of those heroes was Navy cook first class William Payne, the second African American to ever receive the Navy Cross, the Navy's highest service award. Petty Officer Pinckney enlisted in the Navy in 1938 during a time of segregation when African Americans were barred from general service and limited to serving as stewards or cooks. Petty Officer Pinckney attended boot camp here at Great Lakes and was stationed as an officer's cook aboard the USS Enterprise CV-6 during the Battle of Santa Cruz Islands in 1942. While Enterprise was under heavy attack, an explosion killed four of the six men at his battle station, the ammunition handling room. Struggling through suffocating smoke, flames, and gasoline fumes, Petty Officer Pinkney carried the other surviving sailor who'd been knocked unconscious up a burning ladder and through a hatch to safety. He received the Purple Heart and the Navy Cross for battle. Years later, his wife recounted that he didn't know the man he had saved and never found out his name. That's a ship. The USS Pinkney, DDG-91, now carries Petty Officer Pinkney's name and the motto, proud to serve, across the world's oceans, honoring his memory and the spirit of service he embodied. Looking out at the 12 divisions of this class, I am certain that Petty Officer Pinkney would be extremely proud of the sailors we honor today. A cohesive team drawn from the rich fabric of America, each having answered the call to serve our Navy and our nation. You have proven yourselves worthy of wearing the uniform that symbolizes freedom and liberty across the globe. You have taken the same sacred pledge to support and defend the Constitution of the United States that guides my work each day as the Judge Advocate General of the Navy. Shipmates, welcome to the world's greatest Navy. Our Navy operates more than 100 ships around the globe each and every day. Our Navy is flying, sailing, and operating everywhere international law allows, safeguarding all nations' inherent right to freedom of the seas. And our Navy cannot achieve its mission without dedicated, talented, and exceptional sailors like you. As sailors, we answer the call to readiness from our CNO, Admiral Lisa Franke, to preserve the peace, respond in crisis, and win decisively in war. In each of you, I see our Navy's future, and it's truly inspiring. You are about to embark on an incredibly challenging and rewarding adventure. I can promise you it is a profession unlike any other, a fulfilling career of service to our nation alongside like-minded men and women, your teammates. Your service will demand sacrifice. Some days and some decisions will be difficult. You are joining our armed forces at a critical time, a time of significant unrest in the world. But your fellow sailors will always be there, helping one another and our Navy conquer any obstacle in front of us. I want to thank recruit division commanders, 
instructors and staff at RTC who maintain the Navy's high standards and expertly develop our new sailors. Your contributions and dedication is impactful. I also applaud the many families and friends of our newest sailors. Your love and support encourage them to stand up for their country, to embrace the Navy's core values, honor, courage, and commitment. Today, you also join the Navy family and serve by supporting your sailor. Thank you. And most important to all graduating sailors this morning, Military service is an immense responsibility. And after weeks of rigorous training, you are now ready to begin sharing in that responsibility. You have earned my respect and the respect of a great nation. I look out at this incredibly impressive group of sailors after serving almost 40 years on active duty, and I know that the future of our Navy and our nation is strong. I take great pleasure in being the first to say congratulations and welcome aboard the ship. Thank you. Admiral Crandall will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he'll be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Probert. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band, Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders fall out and retrieve outer garments. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown Parking Garage. You can also, for tomorrow, pick them up at the Yorktown Parking Garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit Gate 8 towards the train station parking lot. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this, Liberty Call! Liberty Call!